Welcome to TradeC Accounting Software. Today we will see how to install Tiapo software and we will give you an overview of Tiapo software. So let's download the setup file of Tiapo software. This is the link for downloading the Tiapo software setup file which will be given in the description box. So let's open the browser and download through this link. The file is downloaded and let's open the file. Now extract this file and this shows the setup file of Diapos. Before running the setup, we have to disable the UAC. For that, enter UAC in the search bar. Click on user account control settings. The user account control settings window is opened. Now adjust to never notify and click on OK. Then restart your system. Now run the setup file of Tiapos. Click on next. The default location to install the software will be given here. If you want to change the path, you can select the desired location by clicking on browse button. After selecting the location, click on next. All the files required to run the software is getting installed. Finally, click on finish. To complete the setup. This is the Tiapos icon. Now let's open the software. Now enter the serial key that is TRP1DEMO45SVPOS8. Then click on OK. The first process is to enter the company information. Enter the company name, company address, country, then enter the phone number, mobile number, email id and license number. Now enter the currency, then select the company's financial starting date, enter the TRN number, then select the governor rates. You can also select the post screen layout that is supermarket post layout for retail type and post layout for both restaurant and retail business type. Now let's save the company information and reopen Tiapos. This is the login window. Select the company and enter the default username that is admin and password small letter A. Select the bill series and counter. Then select the language required that is English or Arabic. If you select the language as Arabic, the login window changes to Arabic format and you can use your post software all in Arabic form. Here I am using as English format. The login date and time is also shown here. Now click on OK to open the software. This is the supermarket form screen layout. This screen shows the sale window. On the right hand side you can see a compactable touchpad. Now let's move on to the menu section. Here you can see masters, reports, utilities and about options. In masters you can enter the company information, product, customer, vendor, employee, unit creation, adjustments and pay modes. You can also create user, user group and ledger creation. Then you can change the password of the user and add counters, series master, then weight barcode, rate barcode and also can add location details. Next section is the reports. Here you can see various type of reports that is daily sale report, purchase, sales return, purchase return, debtors, creditors, stock and opening stock and the cancel reports. Also we have pending bills and payment reports. Next is the VAT report. The output and input VAT reports are given here. And the input VAT purchase return and output VAT sales return reports are also shown. And VAT summary are also shown here. Next is the utilities option. Here we can set backup path to a desired location and also can enable automatic backup path while closing the software. You can close the financial year 
by year ending the current year. Next, not but the least, is the information about Tiapos where you can register the software. Next, coming back to masters, let's open the company information. After the installation, we have already entered the company information details. You can edit the details if required. Let's change the screen layout to post and change the business type to retail. Now save the company information. To view the changes for that, we have to log off the software and reopen the software. This is the retail post screen window. In the left hand side, you will be finding an area where product category buttons will be shown. As no products are entered, no such category buttons are available. So this area is empty right now. The middle part is the area where products are entered in this grid. Below the grid, there are buttons available. And in the right hand side, you can find a totals panel. Below that, you can find a number pad. Also, you can input quantity, unit, price or discount. So next move on to end the screen layout, that is restaurant type. For that, you have to go to menu, then company information. From here, you can select the business type as restaurant. Now save the information, then log off and open again to view the changes that has made. The log off option is in page 2. Now open the software again. This is the post restaurant module screen layout. This layout is same as that of post retail. But there are extra options available here. That is split order, complement, table, QT and message. If you want to divide or split the order, you can press the split order option. Next is the complement option. You can directly click on this option to change the price of a product as zero or give it as free or can make it as complement product. Next you can set table, then you can print KOT. You can also send messages whether you want your product with less sugar or more spicy. Such messages you can give here by clicking on message button. Now coming back to menu. Then company information. As we are discussing about supermarket retail post screen, we can change the screen layout and selecting the business type as retail. Let's log off and log in the software again. Now let's start entering the products. For that, click on menu, then click on product. The product master window is opened. Let's create a product name, Cisco Power Bank. 1000 watt. Next is local name. That is, if you want to enter your product name in your local language, you can enter in this column. Or you can also directly press on Arabic to convert the product to Arabic language. Next, enter the product code, say SysPB1000. Then enter the barcode. Next, enter the EAN code if available. This product comes under the product type electronics. Enter it in the group name. Next, enter the category that is power bank. If you want to add this category in the sales window, you can enable it by clicking on show and save the category. Then enter the subcategory if available. Then enter the unit of the product that is number. Now enter the tax percentage. Next is the landing cost, enter the purchase price in the landing cost and selling price in VAT inclusive rate. Then automatically margin percentage and margin amount will be calculated. Next enter the MRP rate, then enter the stock available in the opening quantity. Also you can set the picture of your product by clicking on product photo setting. From this window, you can browse the image from the system and click on OK. After entering all the details, you can save the product. Now let's move on to the sale window. You can enter the customer details by clicking on new or edit customer. Enter the customer details 
the name, address and enter the remaining details if available. You can also show the pending balance in opening balance at DR side. Then save the customer. Now start entering the products from the product name. If you want to increase the quantity one by one, then click on plus QTY or can directly click on quantity F7 and can enter the quantity. In the same way, you can edit the price of the product. Also, you can delete this product from the grid by clicking on row clear button. You can also enter the product by scanning product barcode from the code column. You can view the specification of this product by clicking on view spec button. Here you can see the photo and specification of the product. Finally, you can click on pay button to pay the bill. You can select the pay mode as cash, credit or multi pay mode. After that you can enter the amount. The remaining balance will be shown here. Then you can save the bill. Next click on yes to print the bill. This is the thermal print format of the bill. Here you can see the company details, bill details, the VAT amount and the grand total. So this was the overview of Tiapo's retail module. Hope you find this video helpful. For more updates and videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.